at all. Yeah, it's sure. uh, only possible with Nikon. It's great to have you here. And uh, goodness, this pretty important, as you said, pretty important uh, moment for the team, as you see. Quite yeah. We just filmed our long burn, so a six second burn of our engine, and it went very, very well. It looked awesome, and we're just getting the data back, but this means that we can fly this engine for Vega. If it, what it looks like is correct, we're ready to fly this. So. What are the results we would like to share? First of all, Common Space breaks the UK student's thrust record for a liquid rocket engine. Secondly, the engine reached more than 7.2 kN with a temperature of above 1000 degrees close to the walls with a wall thickness of down to only 0.5 millimeters. Thirdly, Common Space qualifies their engine for more than 18 seconds in a hot fire test. Last but not least, the hot firing test was completely successful and has shown full reusability of the engine without any repair or change. They're forecasting around 20,000 satellites are going to be needed uh, in the next 10 years. So that's multiple, multiple launches. Some thrust chambers will need to be this size, but also there'll be a need for much bigger thrust chambers. With the NXG 12600, we have a Nikon SLM. You can build up to 600 millimeters X and Y with, with up to 1.5 meters in Z. Beyond our NXG platform, there's already been some demonstrators of, of over a meter in diameter, and perhaps we're willing to push that further. So if there's any space companies out there that want to challenge us and, and say, we need a certain design space, we want to hear from you, and maybe you can be a part of that next product generation.